the whole emphasis of Camp Motorsport is to focus on the skills that are necessary to be successful in life. They're learning how to make new friends, how to solve problems, how to deal with conflict. And that's all life skills that they're going to translate to jobs, to school. get the life of the racetrack along with the camp experience. We are very much teaching a professional level curriculum just like you would get in a professional race school for an adult. We have used that curriculum at the level that's appropriate for kids and teens. Camp Motorsport is the best racing camp you will find in America. staff are specialty activities with staff who are specifically trained to those activities. So it's not the kids camp counselor who happens to also teach an activity. Our driving instructional staff are specifically just driving instructional staff who really have that skill set, have that background, that understanding, that specific training to really provide the quality professional level instruction in our driving areas. Our camp counselors are focused on the kids. That's their job is to make sure that everybody's happy, healthy, they're eating, that you know, how'd everybody sleep, who lost their toothbrush, you know, did you find your sneakers? We train the staff to make sure that they understand that everything that happens in camp, there's a learning opportunity behind it from getting ready in the morning, getting prepared for breakfast, to the actual driving on the course, to you know a team building activity where they've got to cross the alligator infested you know peanut butter and jelly pit and all they have is each other in a pair of magic shoes you know every activity that happens there can be learning that comes from it and that's where the most important learning happens is when the kids are learning and they don't even know that they're learning so the staff are trained to be facilitators We have numerous locations where the kids drive. So we have an assortment of asphalt places where they drive two different kinds of cars. And we also have a variety of tracks with different elevation changes, different types of maneuvers, different kinds of road course setups for the asphalt. We have an off-road dirt track, and then we have an off-road wooded dirt trail. So the kids get to drive a paved experience and a dirt experience every day that they're there. For go-karts, all you need to know is don't make your turns too sharp and you have to make sure that you stay four car lengths away. Don't slam on the brakes, pretend there's an egg under your foot and use the brakes softly and don't break the egg. Dirt cart's a whole different car. It's a stake shift and you have to change shifts every couple of minutes. In the dirt carts, I, I have a little fun. We'll go out a few times with them, show them all the track, then they'll switch with us. So we'll get to ride along with them, kind of do one-on-one -on -one teaching, use different hand signals. push it forward and then it's in gear one and then you push it again. That's twice and then three. We 
usually stay in two, but when we're like hitting a lot of bumps, we go to three. When we're going uphill, we have to go to one. We also drive mini cups, which are like miniature stock cars. They actually have suspension. On the turns, if you're turning to the right, you'll lean to the left. When accelerating, weight is on the back. When braking, weight is on the front. Something like that. car is uh, one of a kind. It was custom engineered for Camp Motorsport. It's an um, indie style car, so it's an open wheel, open cockpit car. So as it's on the track, you can, you know, the kids are sitting right where the wheels are. You can feel the breeze blowing and everything, and they get a full view with the professional driver riding behind them. And during the course of that ride, they're talking about the lines on the track and where is the apex and where should they be braking. Where should they be, you know, de decelerating and accelerating? It's truly a learning experience, and they're applying some of those physics concepts, the math concepts that they've learned in the karting settings now on a full-size car and a full-size racetrack. As well as you know, get to go out and have a little fun in a race car. I mean, what kid wouldn't want to do that? <laughs> First day, they're almost scared to drive the carts. It's a new experience. We have lots of campers that come that have never even driven a lawnmower. But once they get used to it and the instructors are right there with them teaching them, saying, hey, this is what you can do better, this is where you're doing well, they start to get a little quicker, they build more confidence. And then, you know, by Tuesday or Wednesday, the camper is so excited, they have a favorite cart, they can tell you, you know, all the different things they know how to do on the track. Start of the week, kids think they just the race car just stops the gas and goes as fast as it can. By the end of the week, the kids that have mastered the ability to go slow, to go fast, and enter the turn at the right speed, hit the apex, accelerate through your exit, are the ones going the fastest. And everyone kind of realizes that, hey, it's not stopping the gas, you know, it's a control. And you can just watch them within a very short period of time become much more confident and excited about what they're doing and ready to learn more and to push themselves even further. Safety, of course, is our first priority in everything. Everything that we have in our program is specifically engineered and developed for us, so it's not stuff that you can go to the big box store and purchase yourself. We use racing standards in terms of our harnesses, helmets, uh, all of the suits, the gear, and then we have very safe and very specific safety rules that everything has to be conducted under, and that includes even an expectation of the kids that if they make a choice not to follow safety rules, they make a choice not to participate. If you need to slow down, baby call it for a while, so go as slow as you can. From day one, when they walk in, safety is a tone that we set throughout the program. So they're still having a lot of fun, but everybody, you know, understands that what's okay and what's not okay in terms of behavior. Everybody knows in racing that the driver doesn't win alone. They have to have that support system. They have to have the crew. They have to have the engineers. Racing is a team activity, and so is life. When you go out into the real world and you're working, you want to be able to work with your coworkers. From the first time you get here, you can already feel the team aspect. Team building is essential to the program. It's all about communicating with the teammates. You don't always get to pick who's on your team, just like you don't always get to pick you know, who you're going to work with in the workplace, but you've got to learn how to get along with everyone. The team
teams are challenged with certain decision making, certain objectives that they have to accomplish through the week, and that's part of the whole team process. Just like any other sport, racing is a sport, and there's a team involved in it. That's why we do the pit crew challenge. Go! When they're in a team of eight kids, they have to take responsibility for each other and making sure that everybody's ready for the next activity, making sure they've got the right safety equipment before they can drive, making sure their area is clean. And if one person in the team isn't ready, then that holds up the whole team. So they learn really quickly that it's their responsibility to be prepared and to help their teammates. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And so we're in a unique position that we can actually offer a lot of those kind of programs. We give them exposure to real engineers doing real research. They get to learn about um, how the horsepower of a car is measured and how, why does that matter? And then we encourage them to use those skills. And so those are those opportunities to talk about things like tire scrubbing or whether they're using too much force on the wheel, where they're taking their turns. So it's really applied, hands-on math and science that we're using in, in the program. We want them to realize it's not just about racing and putting the foot to the floor. There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scene. Most of the work is behind the scenes. We try to teach them the thought processes of an engineer, which is breaking things down logically, analytically, going through step by step. This is what we need to do to solve the problem. So that's what we do with balloon rocket racers. We give them a canvas and they've got to make the rocket racer. They've got to propel it. Uh, we do that with egg drop machines. We have them design tires for different applications. So it's all about thinking through these processes, along with obviously the driving part of it. Racing is really about engineering and physics. First of all, the car has to be tuned, has to be set up correctly for the track you're riding on. And there's a lot of work that goes into that. On the other side, you're talking about physics. As a race car driver, you got to know how much grip you have, what the forces are that you're feeling, that the car's feeling, so you can know how to take advantage and leverage your knowledge of physics on the track to have quicker times. So we try to teach them the basics of aerodynamics, the apex, inertia, Newton's three laws. And the idea there is not only to teach them the laws, but to get them to start thinking analytically, designing things for a purpose. So that's a big part of what we do with these laws, is we make them real. And that's what physics is. It's just gotta be taught the right way. Is that you see it every day, you do it every day. You just don't think about it like that. So that's what we're trying to do, is get them to think about it in an everyday kind of sense. So a lot of our kids, for the first time, it's stuff that they've learned in the classroom, it's the first time that makes sense to them. Because they're getting a hands-on experience with that and they're getting to touch the physics and really feel what's going on. They understand how does that apply to my car. And for a lot of the kids, you can see that light bulb come on. It's the first time that math concept actually made sense to them because they get to see it, they get to feel it, they get to touch it, and it's a very different kind of world. Camp Motorsport is about teaching the young campers to drive, but it's also about teaching them to survive in the real world. We recognize that not everybody coming to camp is going to be a race car driver, but it's about what kind of opportunities can we give the kids to make sure that when they go home, they've learned something that can be useful to them. So that confidence from the racetrack then you know, translates into, into real life and then just feeling good about all the things that they know that they can do that maybe they thought they couldn't do before. I just think that Camp Motorsport emphasizes that all along. From day one with our staff, we're training our staff on how to create an intentional, emotionally safe community that's all about the team and the team effort. Everything we do is based on the team. This isn't about winning and losing, it's 
about having a good time, learning some skills, and saying, wow, you know, I beat my own time, that's far more awesome. It's not a win-at-all-cost philosophy that we're looking at. It's a improve your own performance philosophy and feel good about what you did at the end of the day. From the morning till night, we are going. Because if there's not something going on, then it's not camp motorsport. <laughs>